For centuries, the idea that our world is a simulated reality has been a topic of discussion among scientists and philosophers. In recent years, scientific research has gathered evidence to support the theory that our world is, in fact, a simulation. What do you think? Are we living in a simulation? Watch this and see what you think. But before you do, remember to subscribe for more great science content. One of the primary pieces of evidence comes from the field of computer science. As computer technology has advanced, our ability to create increasingly realistic simulations has improved as well. In fact, researchers at the University of Bonn have proposed that we could be living in a simulation because the laws of physics that govern our world could be the same as those that govern a computer simulation. Video games are a prime example of the increasingly realistic simulations we can create. The worlds created within these games have incredibly realistic graphics and physics simulations that can simulate real-world physics and behaviors. Researchers at the University of Pennsylvania have used the video game, Grand Theft Auto V, to train autonomous vehicles, which shows how the in-game physics engines can replicate real-world physics and behaviors. Even some of the most advanced scientific experiments in the world, such as the Large Hadron Collider, rely on simulations to test their hypotheses. Scientists use computer simulations to predict the behavior of subatomic particles and to understand the possible outcomes of different experiments. The way that simulations behave is what makes this evidence compelling. In many simulations, the creatures or characters within them behave in ways that are surprisingly similar to the way we behave in the real world. For instance, simulations can replicate natural selection and adaptation in ecosystems. This is supported by research from Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom, who suggested that highly advanced civilizations would likely create countless simulated worlds populated by conscious entities with similar characteristics as real-world creatures. If we keep developing video games and simulations, we may eventually create simulations that are indistinguishable from reality. In fact, virtual reality technology is advancing at a rapid pace, and it's possible that we may reach a point where we cannot tell the difference between reality and a simulated world. This idea is supported by philosopher and cognitive scientist David Chalmers, who suggests that as simulations become more advanced, the line between the simulated and the real world becomes increasingly blurred. Quantum mechanics is another field where evidence points to the possibility that our world is a simulation. The behavior of particles at the quantum level is often difficult to understand, but it is a fundamental aspect of our understanding of the universe. In fact, recent research suggests that our universe could be a hologram, a two-dimensional projection of a three-dimensional reality, which is similar to the way that computer simulations work. One of the fundamental concepts of quantum mechanics is that particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This is a concept that has been replicated in computer simulations of quantum mechanics, where simulated particles behave in the same way as real-world particles. Scientists have suggested that if our world is a simulation, there would be some limitations in the simulation. For example, there could be constraints on the amount of resources available to the simulation, or there could be glitches or errors in the programming. These limitations could explain some of the strange phenomena we observe in the world, such as unexplained gaps in the fossil record or inexplicable aspects of quantum mechanics. As we continue to develop video games and simulations, it's worth considering the implications of creating truly lifelike simulations. If we do reach a point where we can't distinguish between reality and a simulated world, what does that mean for our understanding of the world around us? Would it be ethical to create simulated conscious entities, and what rights would they have? The idea that our world could be a simulation is both fascinating and thought-provoking. While we don't have definitive proof, the evidence from computer science and quantum mechanics suggests that it's a possibility. As technology continues to advance, it's possible that we may someday have the capability to create simulations that are truly indistinguishable from reality. The question is, what will we do with that power?